seven things you're doing that will make you poor. Always remember that the current situation of your life is an outcome of the decisions you have made in the past, an outcome of some, if not all, of your daily habits. For instance, a rich person is rich because of what he or she does constantly. Likewise, a poor person. We are all products of our decisions. Everyone has bad habits, especially when it comes to money. But poor people are terrible managers of money. Rich people, on the other hand, aren't naturally talented at handling money. They learn how to and then constantly practice it till they become experts at it. In this video, I'll share with you seven things you're doing that will make you poor. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Blaming people and circumstances for your present condition. The blame game is a typical way of life of a poor person. They blame everything and everyone for their current position, forgetting to blame the most important thing or person responsible, themselves. While it may be easy to blame others for your mistakes, it is much more productive to search your past and find what caused your faults. The truth is that making bad decisions is a part of life. But blaming others for your mistake is immature. Deepak Chopra, an Indian-born American author, public speaker, alternative medicine advocate, said, and I quote, When you blame and criticize others, you are avoiding some truth about yourself. Also, according to Willie Nelson, you'll never get ahead by blaming your problems on other people. What you do not understand when you blame people is that even though you blame them for your financial struggles, they are not the ones dealing with the situation. You are. Caroline Miss said that never blame another person for your personal choices. You are still the one who must live out the consequences of your choices. If you want to become rich, then it's high time you stop blaming others for your mistakes. Accept them. 2. Spending money that you do not have. Taking a credit, a loan, or anything similar is one way to ruin your chances of getting wealthy in the future. Because you are spending the money that you do not have and you will have to replace it with some interest as a matter of fact. If you want to get rid of poverty, then you need to learn how to work hard and spend money on the right things so that you don't end up going into debt and spend the rest of your life trying to pay up. For instance, you can invest in materials that will teach you financial freedom and other self-development materials or books once you are done sorting out feeding and other essential needs. Don't spend your money buying clothes and shoes because you want to be seen as the most fashionable in town when you attend a party. 3. Remaining in a job that will never make you rich because you are scared of the unknown. Do you know that everyone, both rich and poor, has fears? Fear of the unknown. The rich, however, tackle theirs by researching and learning more about that fear until they are confident and bold enough to take calculated risks. That can help them conquer their fears. You see, poor people may not be okay with the idea of living from paycheck to paycheck, but they are usually too scared to launch out for something better because their jobs provide them with a steady income and job security. Working a job means helping someone else to get rich. Of course, you'll start by working for someone before you eventually become self-employed, but you can start by working something on the side. Grow it well enough until you can easily break out from your regular 9-to-5 job and start making money for yourself. 4. Talking more and doing little. Don't be more of a talker and less of a doer. If anything, talk less and act more. A good number of people struggle with this, and when they eventually take action, they only do something so little to mark it off their to-do list. In fact, some people leave to mark their to-do list. So they put a bunch of small things on the list so that at the end of the day, they have quite a number of things to mark off the list. This is why they remain poor. If you want to be rich, you should be willing to take giant steps consistently. Be result-oriented, not action-oriented. Paul J. Meyer said, Productivity is never an accident. It is always the result of a commitment to excellence, intelligent planning, and focused effort. 5. Living for the weekends and vacation People who are truly successful love Mondays as much as their Fridays. There is no difference. People who are unsuccessful, on the other hand, don't even like what they're doing to begin with. So how can they like Mondays as much as they like Fridays? The problem with not liking what you do is that you will never make efforts to be better at it. And when you are not better than everyone else who does the same thing, why will anyone pick you to do the job? 
and if no one wants you to do their jobs, how will you make money and become rich? 6. Envy successful people. Nearly everyone does this. Rather than admire people who are successful around you, you find a way to speak ill about them. Guess what? Your opinion about them doesn't even count. They're still going to be rich anyway. And you, on the other hand, will remain poor. You see, the difference between people who are rich and people who are poor is that while rich people admire other rich people and seek knowledge from them, poor people envy rich people, hence they remain poor, because their actions shut down opportunities to learn from the rich. 7. Hanging around other poor people Rich people hang out with rich people. Poor people hang out with poor people. Thomas J. Stanley, an American writer and business theorist, said, Before you can become a millionaire, you must learn to think like one. You must learn how to motivate yourself to counterfare with courage. How can you think like a millionaire when you constantly hang around people who are poor? If you want to become rich, then start associating yourself with people who are successful. You'll learn how to think like one and create ideas that will end up making a lot of money for you. If you want to become rich, then start associating yourself with people who are successful. You'll learn how to think like one and create ideas that will end up making a lot of money for you. Thank you for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.